Hello there, my name is Birdie Goo 5 um, I was having a nice morning, uh, until I realised that they added experimental features to Minecraft, which added the Warden into the game, and a lot of skulk blocks for the deep dark, which they've been preparing for a, a very long time. Um, so when the sun sets, um, I've rigged a little demonstration to show you. Um, so this is a village full of innocent people, and I've set up this little shrine here. This little shrine, uh, there were already torches around the shrine, but uh, it's the skulk blocks that are really going to do it here. So you see there's skulk sensors. Okay, any kind of sound will trigger this thing to go off. I am guaranteed, 100% certain this is going to work. But who knows? There might be a chance that it doesn't, but I'm pretty sure it will. All I need is for one person to trip off the skulk blocks. And then this should activate this little totem I've set up. And then we'll see, uh, we'll see Minecraft's new mob in action and hopefully it should terrorize these innocent villagers. Um, we've got apparently this cat is going to be the first victim. Oh dear, this is brutal. I shouldn't have done this at all. These these villagers don't deserve this, but this is exactly what they're going to get. Because um, this, this is what they call a skulk shrieker. That's what summons the warden, and I don't know what the catalyst is underneath it, but I assume that has some kind of role to play. Um, but that uh, that going off alone is a symbol that you shouldn't be this close to the damn thing. But anyway, we are really in it now. All he needs to do is get close enough to trigger the big one. And then that's it. It's over. Come on, do the thing! It's pitch black of night! That's exactly when this is supposed to happen! What if I build a new one closer to the ground? Well, then will it go off? I am guaranteed... 100% certain this is going to work. I'm not entirely sure. Or perhaps I just need... Yeah, I think I just needed to build it lower. Uh, Skull Catalyst. So that's definitely not what summons him, but this definitely is. Here we go. Oh my good god, that's fucking loud as balls. Four hits. Four hits on that iron golem. You are shitting me. And look at that. Look at the distortion in the in the fucking lens. Everything has gone pitch black. Everything that is not lit up by an immediate torch has been turned to pitch black on a periodic kind of visual effect that happens. Oh my god, he actually got the cat. Oh, this is brutal. But look, look at this thing in action. I mean, it's just not the most terrifying thing you've ever seen. Yeah, they, they got the scare factor real, real spot on with this one. He's gonna fucking, he's gonna fucking kill him. Oh my god, oh my god, no. Oh, and he's dead. Oh, Jesus. It's a massacre. It's an absolute massacre. More victims for the Warden. Who's he gonna choose next? Whenever he does that, he's ready to strike. Usually. Hobbles at fucking maximum speed. There goes another. It's unfortunate that the Warden fit can't fit in small spaces, otherwise... Oh. It might not actually matter. I think the Warden only goes for somebody when they have enough information to pinpoint them. That seems to be the pattern. As he waits for a while, listens with the feelers, looks directly at the next target with that big open face. I mean, that surely is used for devouring souls, right? What else could it be for? And then there's that... Why are those skeletons in it? It's just, I mean... They've got the design perfect. Let's, um, let's give them some food. Let's feed the warden. Um, give me a minute. Food for the warden. <laughs> you could definitely, you could make some tremendous horror maps with this thing. Oh, look at that. The moon is starting to get low in the sky, which means daylight is surely on the way at this point. See, clouds are turning orange. We are going to get some sun. 
and then hopefully this horrendous creature will be banished. Daylight is sure to come. This thing doesn't attack in daylight, thank god. Come on then, sunshine. Betty buys. Bedtime. Time to go to bed. Go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. And then it crawls back into the void from wherever it fucking came from. And hopefully never to be seen again. Good god, what a monster. Well, um, I think it's safe to say that the entire populace of this village is probably doomed. So, here's the thing, um, you might have thought, hmm, it's the warden, it's, it's terrifying, but I'm not done yet. What I'm going to do next is, um, is I'm going to, I guess, I don't know, give the villagers that are left over a little bit of peace of mind that their mass murderer, the guy who summoned the warden in their village, is not a complete and total douche and is not impartial to being slapped to death by a warden. So there we go, my respawn point has been set. I am going to go into settings and set myself my personal game mode to survival. Here we go. I am now on survival mode, which means I am very much vulnerable to attacks from any one of the creatures that have survived the night and are wandering around down there. Um, looks like most of them have despawned, which is lucky lucky me. Uh, but yeah, the warden is going to come back, and when it does, I will be ready to run for the hills. Um, mind you, I do have a slight advantage to the warden this time, and that's that I have um, this potion of night vision, uh, which should allow me to, well, actually see the warden rather than blunder around in the pitch black night time. This netherite sword is not going to be of any use. It takes like 60 hits to take down this thing with a netherite sword. If you're wearing full netherite armor, you're still screwed. It knocked down an iron golem in four hits. You saw that earlier. Iron golems are tough as balls. It takes a hell of a lot to kill them. So in other words, if a warden shows up, we are going to die. Or we're going to run. It's one of the two options. And the thing is, when the warden gets you in its sights, it goes for you. And I don't know if it moves faster than you can sprint or not. But I'm going to bloody well try. What? Did you see that? Something happened there. Okay, so it's... The sun's going down, it's basically nightfall. I'm expecting the warden to be summoned at any minute now. <laughs> I feel like some of those old, um... Like, creepy pasta, or like those... Oh, ringing five nights at Freddy's at 3am. It feels like that sort of thing. PS5's on half price. That'll summon him. I, I finally get to see whether it's going to be just the one or two of them. The thing is though, like, the Shriekers aren't being triggered by the pigs. Why is that? Some oh shit, that's not what I expected. Of all the things I expected to kill me, it wasn't that. Ow. Goodness gracious. Well, that's my chances of survival, um, minimized. I'm trying to hit it with a potato. Good God! I've been brutalized by- okay, let's trigger him. Shit. Fuck, 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 where has he come out? Oh, he's come out there. Has it summoned two of them, though? It hasn't summoned two. Hasn't seen me yet, thank heavens. But it's going to see everything else and go, I want a piece of you. Thing is though, I've created a path, I don't know if it's going to use it. So if I, for say, do a little tip tap. Oh no, this is just my worst mistake. Where is it? I haven't seen where it's gone. Don't you think that scares me like ten times as much? I mean, we'll be able to see it when the time comes. When the time comes for me to just exit life. This is not good. This is- how- how can anyone survive like this? 
Right, I'm going to use my potion of night vision because weird shit happens when you use this thing. Oh no, I'm just going to die on this basis alone. Everything else is going to kill me, let alone the warden. The warden's not even going to have a chance. Ah! I think the space has been too ruined by the creeper exploding for the warden to actually get through. If I break this for you, I'll make things easier, then you can come and kill me. Surely that's enough. That's enough. You can get through there, right? Oh, it can. It can and it will. It's coming to freaking out! Oh, fuck. We better get out of here. This is the real challenge. Oh, crap. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't run away. I'll bet he's coming for me now. Warden's coming to get me. Oh, damn. I'm being chased to my death. I'm being chased to my death. I'm going to get chased to death. Oh, I don't think I can outrun it. I don't think I... You probably could, like, if you had enough food and, like, enough motivation, which... Is that not enough motivation? Can I drown it? Can I drown the warden? It's going up. There we go. Right, so let's do a bit of a... an analysis of some sort. I don't know how this got here. It seems that, um... Yeah, this is Skulk Vein, and it just kind of spawned, I guess? I guess this environment kind of turned into a, a warden-rich environment or something? Something happened to make that appear, which had nothing to do with me. I didn't put that there. Um, and, well, the, the warden does its job. Um, it finds anything that's near enough to this rock and goes ballistic. We've, we've decimated the population of an entire village and pretty much every mob in the surrounding area. And, um, I mean, need I say much more? I mean, the warden, ladies and gentlemen. Minecraft, Mojang, you, you know what, hats off to you. Hats, hats off. I think there's, there's not been many more instances where I've been that terrified. Well, um, yes, thank you for coming, thank you for watching, I've been putting you five, and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to the the bird of you, you flibbles. Subscribbles. <laughs> <laughs>